Hey guys, it's uh, Coach Derek here. Uh, first, I just wanted to say I hope everybody's uh, staying safe and staying healthy and trying to do uh, their part in keeping this coronavirus from spreading. Um, I know it's tough. It's been tough for me just sitting in the house all day, not being able to get in the pool, not being able to uh, go outside and really do much and see friends. Um, but this thing's gonna gonna get better soon, and uh, we'll be back to full water polo in no time, which I can't wait for. Uh, with that, I just wanted to uh, put a little video together. Um, I know Jeff is doing this, and uh, he wanted some some stuff from people on on the Pacific water polo team for our season in 2013 when we made it to the national championship. Um, so I just wanted to give you guys some insight on that and contribute to the video. I was a freshman going into that season, and um, I redshirted that year as well, so I just practiced, didn't play. Um, obviously, our team was really, really good. Um, and no matter what, what role you have on a team, there's always something to learn. Um, so as a freshman, just sitting back and be able to, to watch all these great players do what they did every day and, and jump in and practice and, and feel all that and learn from these guys was just something that I can never, never get back and something that I'll never take for granted because it really helped me throughout my career there um, as things got harder and harder and, and you had to um, just kind of push every day to get better and that's, that's kind of what they did. Um, that year they they were pushing grinding no matter how hard it got no matter how beat up their bodies were they took care of their bodies everything was professional um, it was it was like they were professional athletes you know training room every day um, swim sets just body beat up taking care of themselves and coming back the next day and doing it all again and not only is is that just professionalism but it builds team chemistry team camaraderie and you can see that as well. Outside the pool, all the guys were close. It doesn't matter if you were a fifth year senior or if you were an incoming freshman. Um, these are, are people I still talk to to this day, um, no matter if they're five years older than me. And, and that relates to the pool, because if you're close outside of the pool, when you get in, it's just like that. You know, everybody connects. Um, it's something you need on a team to be able to get to the level that we got to that season. And when I noticed that, that's kind of the one thing I took um, throughout my whole career is making sure that the team is always on a good note with each other. You know, you, you might get in a fight in practice with a teammate or something, but after that, outside, you know, you guys are going to go get lunch together or something, or you have a class together right after that. So it's pretty much just squashed, and, and you come back to the next practice, and that's what competing is all about. And you can see that day in and day out of each training session um, and each game. And, and it was just an unbelievable season, um, something that I'm glad I was a part of. And it's something that I will, I will never forget, um, being in the stands in the front row, cheering them on against Stanford and USC. Um, an unbelievable run, an unbelievable season. And um, it was just the start uh, for Pacific. So... Uh, yeah, that's pretty much just my insight. Um, if you guys have any questions about anything about it, about the season, about the team, um, about water polo in general, feel free to get my phone number from Jeff and, and give me a text and we can chat about water polo or anything. Um, I'm always here to help and I hope to see you guys on the pool deck here pretty soon. Uh, thanks, guys, and uh, stay safe. Go Big Valley and, and go Pacific Water Polo. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, my name is Ben Stevenson. For those of you, for those of you who don't know me, uh, Jeff wanted me to talk a little bit about the 2013 season. Um, so some of my memories from that season are just that um, right away I came in as a freshman and um, I had some immediate pressure placed on me from the older guys because uh, we knew we were really good and um, they didn't want me to mess it up for them, I guess. Um, but yeah, everybody believed that. Um, we could win the national championship that year um and i think that was the most important part just the belief and then the hard work after that that we all put in 
Um, yeah, sorry, one sec. I think the mentality um, that our team had in the 2013 season was um, going in and trying to win every game um, and just trying to do whatever it takes, rip everybody's heads off and um, get the W. I mean, we were beating the shit out of guys out there. It was, uh, it was a pretty fun team to play on. A couple things I'm doing to stay in shape um, during this quarantine are um, yoga a little bit. Just like maybe once a week and then I've been running a lot uh, as well so if you can try to get in the pool as much as possible and play with the ball what's up guys uh, my name is JT I graduated in 2016 I was part of the 2013 men's water polo team at University of Pacific and uh, Jeff reached out asking me to share my experiences and, and some tips and advice that I'd give to high school players. Uh, so my experience was that entire year was really magical. I mean, we had the, I, the most talented team in the country, I thought by far. Um, just came up a bit short, as many of you guys know, but I mean, it doesn't really take away from the things that we were able to accomplish. Like, um, you know, regular season MPSF champions. And, and back then that was when we had to play against Cal, Stanford, UCLA, USC, they were in the same conference as us. So we were able to do some really cool things that year. And it was really the first year that Pacific was able to compete throughout the entire year with those top four teams. So that was really fun to be a part of. Um, more specifically, my role on the team was, I was basically a bench warmer. I was probably number 13 out of 15 guys that traveled with the team. So my advice is going to be for some of you guys that may be newer or less experienced or, or you know, the role players on your team and, and how, how important that is still to a team dynamic because at the end of the day, only six guys can play. So, you know, I was always... I always had the mindset of, you know, I, I wanted to do what was best for the team and knowing that, you know, I was a, a center at the time. And so I was playing behind Goron, who at that time had been a three time first team All-American. Obert, who is now on the senior national team, you know, those guys were a lot better than me. And it was it was very apparent. Um, so, you know, knowing that I, I didn't put my I had, you know, put my personal pride aside to do what was best for the team. And so I think that, you know, those types of players are still super important to a team dynamic. And just because you're not in the pool playing in the most important games doesn't mean you still can't affect your team uh, in a positive way by things that you do at practice or, or you know, doing, doing the small detailed work that everybody else is putting in and making sure that you're still prepared, even though that, you know, you're not the first person in the pool. Um, so it, it takes, it takes, you know, a lot of personal pride to, to be able to understand that and accept that. And, and that was one of the cool things about the team that year is that everybody knew their rule roles on the team and, and they didn't really, there wasn't any complications with it. Um, you know, I know a lot of, a lot of people want to play and I wanted to play myself. Um, so, so it can be tough, but it, it's, it's really important that, that, you know, you maintain that, that spirit of, of doing what is best for the team and understanding that, you know, your coach has the same mentality as well. Like James, James was always going to do what was doing what we thought was best for, to put us in a position to win. And so if that, if that w required me to play, if that required me to sit on the bench, I was all for it. Um, so that, that's my, my experience and my, you know, tips of advice that I would share to you guys. Uh, if you're in high school, I know that it's it's probably tough to stay in shape right now, and and you got to get creative though. I, I don't know. I'm I'm struggling because I I have to stay inside. So you know, we're all with you guys. Stay positive though, and and um, keep fighting. And so yeah, thanks guys. Take Hi everyone, I'm Balash Sabo. I uh, was a senior in 2013 at UOP when we were playing the, the final in the final four at Stanford. 
the reason why I'm sending you guys this video is because your coach, Jeff, asked us to give you guys some feedback, uh, our opinion, thoughts, and um, how was the mentality, the, the team roles, uh, the atmosphere, how we were preparing for the, our big year. So mentality wise, I think everybody knows, uh, knew from the team that uh, we have a big chance. Uh, still, we were underdogs uh, compared with the USC team and uh, even Stanford and maybe UCLA, but we knew that we have a really good team. Um, I think we needed time to adjust to our new system, new tactics. Uh, just saying that that was the year when we started to rely more on the statistics. Uh, that was James Graham big creation. creation. And I can tell you that in the beginning, <clears throat> me for sure, but I think many, many players were very, really skeptical. Uh, we have different tactics. Just saying, for example, in Europe, if the center scored an action goal from the center defender, the coach would probably yell the hell out of him and probably he would never play again. Uh, in 2013, we have a different tactics. Because James Graham proved that by, stati by the statistics that the center's uh, chance of scoring goals is way much lower when the, when the center defender is not putting a really hard work on him. Um, just throw out their hands, jump on him, and the rest of the guys just came and helped um, the center defender. It was really hard to adjust in the beginning, but when the, the results were coming, uh, I think everybody was, everybody started to, to, to trust the system and it worked. That was mentality, I think the, the biggest challenge for us, plus how we're going to handle the pressure. We beat everybody in the, in the, the regular season. And I remember in, when we beat SC at UOP, um, that was, I think, the, the breakthrough when we really believed we can win this whole thing. Um, I believe that the, the, the main reason why we, we succeeded, succeeded was uh, because we trusted the system, we trusted each other, and we really trust the work, what we put it in. The atmosphere, it was great. I mean, we were winning. The results were coming. Of course, everybody was super happy. Uh, many times we celebrated it. I think that was important also to celebrate together because that has a really good team bonding. Um, how should I say it? Team bonding activity. Preparing, I think uh, that time our coaching staff was the, the, the most and well prepared uh, coaching staff in the whole in the whole uh, league. Uh, I mean, every day uh, before every game, we got the video records, the cutted video records of the uh, of the opponent teams, um, the weaknesses about their tactics. Uh, we were challenged also to and uh, forced to to know the opponent's tactics and weaknesses. Uh, we had some quizzes and we were punished really badly if somebody didn't know uh, not anything, even small part of the opponent's tactics or weaknesses. So I could say that based on this, this stuff, coaching, uh, preparing, uh, we were really prepared. Team role, that was challenging for me in the beginning uh, because I was playing center defender uh, but my regular position is on the left side and um, it was hard to 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 try myself out in a, in a newer position um, but to be honest it wasn't even a question for me to do it or not um, of course I wanted to help the team uh, my teammates um, in any way uh, what was possible so but I, it's, I could say that it's easily adjusted to this new role and of course I enjoyed it because I could be a useful part of this system and of the team. Um, tips for you guys for the future and don't be scared. 
do your best job trusting yourself seriously that's that simple uh, I remember in the semi-final game it went perfectly in the final game from my opinion uh, of course I was really tired uh, thanks to the, the Stanford game in the semi-final but um, I was scared to be honest and after the game I promised to myself if this happens anytime in my life in sport I'm, I'm not going to be scared I will do the best what I could and because because I did the work so I was prepared uh, of course it was a newer atmosphere so I think 2500 people were there cheering us celebrating plus it was the final and it's really hard to play a final. That was, to be honest, my first final game in my life. And um, it, of course, it's a new thing. But uh, after that, I promised to myself, and thanks God, to be honest, I'm still living my life and playing water polo accordingly. Um, I'm, I was playing the Champions League. I wasn't scared anymore. I was playing in the, I don't even know the, the English word for that, uh, one lower level than the Champions League. Europeans League, I don't know. I wasn't scared there either uh, in the Hungarian League, neither also. So uh, don't be scared, trust in yourself, trust in your teammates, basically because you guys did the hard work. What can, ha what can happen? And uh, last thing, how can you be ready and uh, prepare yourself right now when this COVID-19 virus came in the picture? Uh, just for saying, at the moment I'm playing at OSC with Eddie, Bolaj Eddie, and uh, we were ranked number one uh, right now in the Hungarian league, and we are the group leaders and pos sitting on the position one in the Champions League as well, beating FTC and Prodeco as well. Uh, thanks to this COVID-19 virus, our main sponsor said, Thank you, it was enough. So one week ago, our coaching staff and general manager said, no problem guys, you are doing a great job, but we have some financial problems. So basically that's it. Um, myself and uh, the rest of the team said, okay, shit can happen, but we are not going to loosen up. We are putting the hard work in again, just like we did earlier. So every day we are getting um, dry land practices, works, workouts from our coaching staff, um, which is really good. I'm still in shape. Okay, I wasn't in the pool for, for um, right now, I would say three weeks. But uh, thanks to the dry land workouts, um, we are physically in shape. Uh, plus, sport is a main. That is, and the sport has a main role in our life. So I'm not that kind of guy who is sitting at home and doing nothing. I can do it, for example, two three days, and after that I'm going crazy. So I'm doing the the dryland workouts and I'm doing other activity sports as well, just like tennis. So basically, I'm playing tennis like at least four times a week. These things, this different sports are really important to keep in shape uh, and I think that's a useful tips for you guys as well uh, thanks for seeing me uh, I wish you guys the best luck and good job keep it going bye Hey boys, Jeff wanted me to give you guys a little insight into kind of what our mindset was in 2013 and how it was different than maybe any other year. Uh, 2013 at UOP was maybe one of the best years of my life. Um, I don't think I've enjoyed playing water pool so much than I did that year. Every day we showed up to practice, practices were serious, and we competed every single day because honestly, some of those practices and the scrimmages we had between the guys on our team were better than the games we were going to get. We were so talented, so deep, and I really think the thing that set that year apart from anything else 
is the seriousness, seriousness we showed up to every single day with practice and we really competed because there were guys who were so talented and ended up becoming all Americans, but were never going to get to play. And they, every day we fought and guys fought for their playing time. And it really showed when we got to games. I think that year we must have won five, six, seven, eight games by one goal. And I really think it was those practices where we really showed up and came to play every single day that made us win those one goal games. Those, the margins in those one goal games are so small and it's the little things like showing up to practice every day with an intensity and trying to win a national championship every single day that really set us above in 2013. Obviously it didn't work out as well, but we came pretty damn close and I think that it was the best UOP team ever. And I think I'm not sure it will ever be beaten. Um, but I really think uh, the thing that I think back about that that year were the joy I had with my teammates. Uh, we were together 24 seven. We loved each other. We loved practicing. We loved hanging out together. And it's a special year in my life that I will never forget. And something that I draw back on still playing professionally and playing on the national team now, I think about how much love I had for the game in 2013. And I try to emulate that in the game, in the practices I have now. So go ahead, keep go, diving through that season. It's an amazing season to watch and keep listening to Jeff. He's a genius coach and you guys are really lucky to have him. All right, good luck. Hi guys, I'm Bolaje Abbey, AKA Abbey. As, uh... Some of you might have heard about me before. Um, so we were asked by Jeff uh, to to help you guys with some advices and maybe to give some guidance for for your uh, season coming up next year or even for some of you to start your college career. Uh, so I'm going to be talking a little bit about uh, our big season in 2013 and what happened prior to that season. So one of our key, one of the key element elements uh, to our success was the the team chemistry at UOP. So you know when we got there, we were like the same, like most of you, like seven, eighteen, nineteen years old. So we might have been just a you know just a bunch of idiot young kids doing stupid shit in the beginning. But uh, as time went by, we became. Uh, First of all, we're very good friends, and we became uh, like, let's say, men later on. Um, however, um, when it was about uh, training time, we were very competitive, competitive with, with uh, each other. Sometimes I can say even uh, too competitive, uh, if you know what I mean. But uh, once we got out, got out of the pool, we, we were all good friends, and we were hanging out together in, in our free time. So these connections remain up today as we are uh, trying to keep in touch as much as is possible for, from all around the world. So basically that was one, one of our uh, main element that we could uh, succeed uh, during our years back in, back in UOP. So a little bit about uh, the, the years b b uh, prior to 2013. Um, you know, first of all, it took an enormous amount of hard work and uh, dedication toward the team, towards the team uh, from each individual individuals uh, that made us able to eventually get into the NCAA, NCAA, NCAA championship game. The key, one of the other key uh, to the success was to make everyone believe and buy into the system that James built. Don't need to say uh, that it was uh, maybe the hardest for us Europeans uh, as we faced a different waterfall culture that we were coming from. Um, talking about myself, you know, I got to admit, uh, admit that I was uh, pretty stubborn uh, at the time and I tried to solve the problems my, my own way, which uh, obviously didn't, didn't always work. Uh, but once uh, when I started to re realize that it wasn't going to work, and I got to be part of the, the system in order to achieve our goals. Uh, that's when we, when we all started uh, succeeding. Uh, you know, it's, it's the only way uh, to succeed and to be successful uh, if, you, if you work as a team in the long run. 
don't need to say, I'm not going to lie, I was one of the last one who admitted this. Uh, you can just ask James about it. I'm sure he can tell you uh, long and memorable stories about about uh, this and about, about our relationship back then. So it was it was it was tough every once in a while, but when I realized that that's the only way to cooperate, then everything was good and we started winning games. Um, about my role on the team, you know, uh, back then I was. Uh, one of the co-captain with uh, Goran, Tomasha, Goran Tomasevic, uh, and uh, we were trying to to lead uh, the team towards success, obviously, which uh, wasn't wasn't hard from from uh, one point because the uh, because the the mentality of mentality of the team was uh, was really good, and uh, in addition we got uh, guidance from James as well uh, whenever we needed, and he helped us so much with all that. Uh, you know, I, I really liked being in the position. Uh, I liked having the responsibility, obviously, uh, being held accountable for, for my actions are not always easy. Sometimes it's hard, uh, but it helped me to, to stay focused uh, and uh, push me every day to work even harder than the day before. Um, it was just, you know, great, uh, great to know that uh, whenever one of us had a bad day, uh, there was always someone on the team who who stepped up for stepped up for us and led the team during the game or during the weekdays on in the practices, you know, whenever it was needed. Uh, so we were pushing each other uh, to as much as possible to perf- to perform uh, at at the best level it's, it was possible. Uh, well, 2013 was was the year for us, you know, NCAA semi and uh, the final was a special one. There was such an exceptional atmosphere that I can't really describe and I can't really compare to anything I've ever experienced in my life before uh, Before that, obviously. The craziness, craziness of the fans and the organization and the style, you know, the NCAA banquet uh, before the tournament and the stake of the game was was more special than we ever experienced before. So although I've played uh, two Euro Cup and the World Cup final back here in Hungary in front of our home crowd, uh, that was attended by 10 to 18,000, 10 to 8 to 10,000 people, sorry. Uh, NCAA uh, final in 2013 is, is was just still special because there was nothing we met before. Um, even though we, we suffered a tough loss, uh, that actually still makes me emotional. It's still an amazing memory that I'm not going to ever forget. That's for sure. Uh, you know, a little bit, little bit of the, about the current situation. At this point, uh, all the pools are, have been closed uh, in Hungary for like a month due to the virus. Uh, so all we can do is do like, you know, dry and work out, uh, which means we do weights like four or five times a week. Uh, together with my old friend, when I subbo from UOP, um, so it's easier to complete these these workouts if you have someone to do it with. Uh, someone can that, that that can push you, even when it gets hard mentally and physically as well. Um, so overall, the most important thing about this whole you know college career is to make sure you to enjoy every second of it. I know it doesn't feel like it, but believe me, it's it's gonna be. Uh, it's going to be very short and it will seem like an eye blink. Uh, I mean, it does for me at least, and it did. Uh, in my personal opinion, I have learned so much uh, during my years. Uh, and as I said in the beginning, I might have been maybe an idiot kid when I got there, but it made me who I am today. And I feel blessed to be able to say I was part of this organization because I just learned so much from, from others and from James as well. Obviously, uh, there will be tough times. There will. Uh, if anyone says it will be easy, they're lying, you know. But when it gets hard, that's when you got to stay mentally focused uh, on your goals. And that's when you, you got to make sure to work your ass off to improve, improve yourself. And the guy who is, you know, sitting right next to you in any time. Uh, so may, basically, that's going to help you. Uh, turn things over and make it for the better. So over, good luck and work hard. And listen to James, obviously.
Kyllä. Bye guys.